Hey there guys, Trogdor here, and welcome to another Redstone tutorial. Today I have for you a, not a new concept, I have seen them on YouTube, but a cool one nonetheless, a 3x3 three three corner door. So, this is something that you don't see every day, and uh, it's actually very, like, small. You could work this into a build pretty good. I tried keeping all the redstone underneath as much as I could, so we got very minimal wires up here. And uh, let's uh, check out how it opens. So it's got a unique opening sequence because uh, we don't have the sides to be able to pull pit or pull blocks out of there, so we had to do something different. So it opens up just fine. And, if you noticed, we got a double piston extender down there. It will pull down a block. Then the double piston extender up here will actually push a block down and then pull the block that it's holding all the way up. And then this will pull back the first block, letting the double piston extender grab the second block from right here. And then after it pulls it down to this point, that one or that piston right here will push the final block in there resetting it so if we close it maybe you'll be able to see what I what I mean a little bit closer so it pulls it down pulls it over like that and uh, yeah that's pretty much all I wanted to say uh, word of caution if you are using a lever you're going to want to not spam it. Uh, that's just, yeah, don't spam it. <laughs> but if you're using a T flip flop, there should be a decent amount of time. Like, I wouldn't spam that either. But if you are using a T flip flop, another note is you're going to want to put a repeater directly into this block. That's important. Anyways guys, enough talking your ear off, uh, let's get on with the tutorial. Okay, so we need a 7x7 seven seven area, and the floor will be 4 from the bottom of this, so you'll see that here in a second. So we're going to place in the sticky pistons for the bottom sticky piston extenders on these blue spots. So to find that, you go from the corner of your space, count 3 over and then another three over then you'll put your first one there and then you'll just place them diagonally like this now once you get those placed you'll have one area up here and one area over there this will be the front in this case so I'm going to place a block here just to signify that right now and then we're going to place two blocks on each of these sticky pistons and those will be your door blocks and right now they're flush with the floor so this is your floor right here now we're going to place in the top sticky pistons next so to do that we're going to place a black there count up three because this is a three by three door we'll do the same on the other side so three and then that means the blocks for our sticky pistons will be right here. So we'll go ahead and do that. And I'll place in temporary blocks like that. Everything is a little bit awkward on placing these because it's a diagonal build, which is kind of awkward for Minecraft. So you're going to place two sticky pistons on each of these spots, basically in line with the bottom ones. You can go and replace the blocks here, like that. I'm going to go ahead and give this an outline, like so. You can go ahead and get rid of these temporary blocks. Now that we're here in the front, we want the circuitry to go to the back. So this side, we're going to want blocks there, 
blocks like that. And this side we're going to actually extend this out a little bit. And we're going to have a torch tower come up over here. So let's start, let's start building the circuitry down here and we'll get to that here in a second. So now in the front side you're going to want to place half slabs. Uh, not right there. Right here like this and then an extra row behind it and then you can go ahead and place in redstone dust on all of these half slabs you just placed you're going to place redstone dust on those three blocks right there basically we're just hooking up all the uh, piston the points to power the pistons and on this back side we're going to place in half slabs like this so a little M or W depending on which way you look at it and these all have to be half slabs so make sure you do that and then just hook those up with redstone too now we're going to do a double piston extension a normal double piston extension on this side so on the corner of this dust right here, you go place a repeater on four ticks, place a block in front of it. In front of that block, place another repeater on four ticks, and in front of that with redstone dust on it. And we'll get the block down here, here in a second. So we're going to place dust right on this block that we placed earlier, and a block on top of it. This will be your input block, so I'm going to place a uh, lever right on that. So from this, we want to make a, a uh, pulse extender or an abogate. So we're going to place, I think we're going to do it like this, repeater on one tick, block, redstone torch then another repeater on one tick another block and another redstone torch and we're going to place a block redstone torch and then we're going to do that three more times so this will be our transmission circuit up to the top and there you go and then we'll place one more block on top of this and we'll place a block here and a block here like that let's uh, finish up this pulse extender so we're going to place a block like that that all the way over there so four blocks right there go on three repeaters right here on four ticks each repeater right there on four tick then redstone dust right here and that's a pulse extender now we need to hook this up down to our our uh, repeater down there for our double piston extender so we'll put a block there and then a block right there and redstone dust like this and this block right here has to be a half slab basically if you followed it at the beginning but if it's not you're gonna have problems because you're gonna have feedback into your double piston extension from the other side so there's that we'll go up to the top now and finish this up so we're gonna actually delete a block there for a second just so we can come to the edge the edge like this place a black face down or a observer face down and then you're going to place a repeater on top of that observer on two ticks basically it's going into nothing but you're going to place redstone dust going into that repeater all the way over there like that that will hook it up to the bottom okay so now we can do the other side this back side over here 
So the first thing we're going to want to do is line up some sticky pistons. So we're going to place a temporary block there and a temporary block there. We're going to place a sticky piston right there, temporary block there, and then a sticky piston there, and then do that again, temporary block, sticky piston there. And you can get rid of those. And that's going to store a block for a second when we uh, end up pulling all those blocks down. So now we're going to place a block here. You know, full block here. Those have to be full blocks. And then dust like that. And you're going to place a black down there with a redstone torch on it. And then a black on top of it. And that will extend those. Now we're going to come over to here. And we're going to place a redstone torch right there with a dropper underneath it a hopper going into that dropper and then you want to place an item into the dropper it doesn't matter what it is and you're going to place a redstone comparator right there into a repeater on four ticks into a block with a torch on it then that block, we're going to have a repeater coming out of it on four ticks. Before we get too far ahead, we're going to place redstone dust right here. And a repeater right here on two ticks. A block behind that. And then a repeater right here on one tick. And a block right here. Now you're going to make a... Uh, pulse extender over here go place redstone dust there and then place a block there to cut off that redstone go take a comparator and this one will face this way that's important and then we'll place one right there facing that way we'll place redstone dust right here then we'll place a block right here and here and here and then you're going to go ahead and place redstone dust right there. Make sure you cut it off. And then two more dust right there. A repeater right there on four ticks delay. Then you're going to take blocks and you're going to place them right here. So three blocks right there. A block right there. And you're going to take redstone dust and place them right on those two blocks a repeater right there on one tick place a block there and redstone dust there and that should be it for the bottom so let's go ahead and continue on to the top so from this torch right here we're going to place a block redstone torch and then do that another two times black redstone torch Black redstone torch. You're actually going to go ahead and place one more block on top of that. And then on the same side that we put the extra blocks on this to wire that up, we're going to wire this side up too. So we'll place a block there, redstone dust like this, and they're all hooked up now. It should be it. Let's uh, go ahead and test it out. So it closes up just fine. And if we flick it again, it pulls those down, grabs those, and it resets itself. And it's a completely open thing. So basically your floor would be right here. So let's go ahead and do that. So, so that's where your floor would be. And we'll give it one more test. Like so. 
So make sure when you hook up like a T flip flap to this, if you're gonna hook up a T flip flap to it, make sure you have a repeater going directly into this black. Uh, that's because some of the power isn't repeated right after that black. And yeah, so if you guys like the tutorial and enjoyed the build, please leave a like and uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Helps out my channel. And uh, I will see you guys next time. Have a nice day. Bye bye.